B450 versus B550 in gaming. So these are two AMD AM4 motherboard sockets that are currently are capable with the 5000 series CPU. Now, I just want to show with you guys, by the way, my name is Alex from Alex PC Tech, and I just want to share with you guys how a B450 or an old socket of a motherboard can affect your gaming. For example, here we have a mid-year B450 from Aorus Gigabyte. This is the Aorus B450 Pro Wi-Fi and an entry-level B550 from MSI. This is the Pro VDH Wi-Fi and we're just gonna be doing two tests. So this is not a B550 versus B450 comparison video but rather a real-world scenario on their gaming performance. As you can see here, I have two games. The first that we're going to be testing is Red Dead Redemption. So I'm running the built-in benchmarks of RDR2 and all the settings are on Ultra. Please take note that there was no overclocking that was done on the CPU and we have smart access memory turned on. For the test rig, we have a 3200 GB memory a 5900x for the cpu and we have two motherboards as i've said earlier and we're testing these games on an ssd now as you can see on rdr2 there's not that much of a difference running the benchmark probably two or three fps real time actually uh, when i was playing rdr2 or red dead redemption 2 between these motherboards I've noticed that the B550 was a little bit um, smoother, okay? Although, that smoothness is just, I don't know, from B450 playing to B550, just a tad smoother, nothing more, okay? Now, I'm gonna let the benchmark run, and you can decide for yourself and see for yourself the results after this is done. Apparently, Angus tried to gild another bull with the damn hacksaw. I ain't exactly shocked to hear it. Well, everyone in here is so wonderful.
Now, as you can see, there is just 2 FPS difference between B450 and B550 on Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, now moving on to CSGO. Uh, we did the settings. Everything is on though, as you can see here. And we've compared these two side by side. A B450 versus B550, as you can see. Now, here, the FPS difference is quite very uh quite noticeable if you can see even in the fps meter uh the, the average fps using a b450 is around 350 or 360 while on the other side on the b550 it's it's smoother it's a standard uh 390 or 380 370 something like that so while this benchmark is running, as you can see, I cannot really benchmark two same scenarios using CSGO, but I can act, I can benchmark the frame rate minimum and average, as you can see here. So in the minimums, there's a there's actually a really big difference. But on the gaming experience itself, it's not not really. I did not notice any difference between playing between the two boards with CSGO, without. Probably without seeing the FPS counter, I wouldn't even be able to tell what the difference is, okay? So there you have it guys, B450 and B550. Well, the only main difference between these two is of course the update of the PCIe 3.0 to PCIe 4.0 on the B550 but we're not gonna be talking about that on this video as this is like a real world usage on the performance of gaming on both of these motherboards. Do you like this video? What is your opinion? Do you think that I did something wrong with CSGO as there's a 20 FPS to 30 FPS difference? Like. Comment down below guys and like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and thank you for watching guys I really appreciate it please tune in as we're gonna be pumping out more content for PC and yeah see you on the next video take care guys